We've had a number of challenges on this project. Uh, weather has specifically been an issue for us. We've had two winter seasons that have been unseasonably warm. That's caused us problems with uh, access, with winter roads, lack of snow, having it melt and getting us out of the north too soon. This winter has been much colder. Lots of snow, which is helping us uh, with our biosecurity issues in the south. Biosecurity issues are new to the transmission world and, and we're certainly leading the, the industry on what we're doing with, in terms of biosecurity and our cleaning of our equipment and ensuring the contractors clean and using a third party to, to monitor what's going on and I think certainly protecting Manitoba's farmers. We are currently planning to use uh, helicopter erection for many of the sections in the north as well as in the south. Uh, in the last month and a half, we stood up close to 400 structures by helicopter. There's efficiencies in building the towers in a specific location, and then it's much, much faster to grab the towers by helicopter and drop them into place. The uh, tower supply was an issue last uh, winter, and our tower supplier uh, ended up closing their doors. We saw that that was coming, and we ended up uh, finding a mitigation strategy. We hired three other suppliers, and supplied all the steel required, and the towers are in abundance on the project. Some of the other risks of the project were, were getting all of the contractors in place and ensuring that there's enough labor to get the work done. As of this fall, we signed the second major contract for the tower erection and stringing, and so all of our contracts are in place. We've got an, an experienced group of people that have built a lot of transmission line before. We're holding our in-service date to 2018, our staff are knowledgeable and have done an excellent job to date identifying risks and finding ways to mitigate those risks. So I'm very comfortable that we will hit that date.